Hey guys, it's Desto with Test Pros and this is my first Tesla. A few months ago, we talked about me getting it from G used and what all I wanted to do with it. And then we did a video wrap series where G and Rob wrapped my car. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like now and what all we did. So let's get into it. So we did wrap it in the Avery satin khaki green. I love this color. I think G and Rob did a great job and this color actually looks even better in the sunlight. If you did watch the video series, it might look a little bit different to you. Initially, we had the gold accents um, all around, but I realized that that wasn't really my vibe. So we switched it up to black carbon fiber um, accents all around. And here we have the mountain scene. I really love this. This might be my favorite part. Um, I designed it myself and then G cut it for me and they applied it with transfer paper and I think it looks sick. And then back here, we have the matte spoiler black carbon fiber. This is one thing that I did talk about in the original video that I'm really glad worked out because I think it looks great. Another thing that we mentioned in the video that worked out was the black carbon fiber charge port. I love this. I've had this on for a while and I think it really just wraps everything together. And up here we have the black carbon fiber autopilot as well as the headlight eyelid wrap. And then on the very front, I talked about doing Plasti Dip in the previous video, but instead I just did one of our black carbon fiber emblems. Um, if you can't tell, black carbon fiber might be my favorite vinyl that we have here. <laughs> on the bumper, we have the sport mode wrap. I love it. I think it just adds dimension to the flat bumper. And I think that it also just brings all of the black accents all together. Uh, one thing about the bumper that we did talk about in the last video was installing the front PPF kit. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to that yet. I, it's still on the plans, um, so stay tuned for that. We also talked about the rockers, but instead of doing that, I think I'm going to install the DIY full PPF kit that we just came out with that covers all of the panels. And I think that that'll give like the full coverage that I'm looking for. One thing that we did do, however, is the quick view on the windshield. It repels the rain, which really helps me out because I hate driving in storms. She's almost due for a reapply, so stay tuned for that. Super easy to apply, so if you want to check that out, we have a video that shows how to apply that. One thing that's also easy to do is to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into the interior. Initially, we talked about doing a matrix interior, but with the exterior black carbon fiber accents, I thought it'd be good to have everything the same. And so we have black carbon fiber in the dashboard, steering wheel, center console, and door switches. And I think it really brings it all together, exterior and interior. And for organizers, I have the underseat organizer. I always keep my tire inflator in there as well as snacks when I'm on a trip. And I also put my computer in here um, if we're taking long road trips so that I know it's safe. And I also have the uh, center console organizers as well as the armrest organizer for just everyday use. I just throw in anything that I'm using on a daily basis, uh, chapstick and sunglasses, anything that I need quick access to. I also have floor mats in the front and rear um, as well as the trunk. They're super sleek, easy to clean, and they fit perfectly for complete coverage. For the interior PPF, I installed the glove box, door kickers, and seat back. They're essential to me with having a lot of passengers in my car. I get a lot of scuffs and scratches on all of these panels, so I thought that it'd be better to cover it up and protect it. In our previous video, we talked about the rear screen that we were testing. I love the idea but it glitched quite often, which unfortunately doesn't meet our quality standards. So we won't be selling it in our store, but if something better came out in the future, we'd be hyped about testing it. So let's go check out the trunk, my favorite part. One PPF product that I do have back here is the rear trunk PPF. Um, as you can see, I have a scuff already. And so I thought that since I use my rear trunk pretty often, I might as well go ahead and protect the vinyl until we can install the full DIY kit. And so here I got out the trunk side bins for you guys. Um, I love these. I think these are probably my favorite organizers that we have. Um, as you can see, I keep my waterless in here as well as my jack pads. The reason why I love these is because it fits flush and it has a lid to cover it up. Um, I also keep dirty clothes back here if I'm ever working out or playing sports just to keep it decluttered. And then under here, under my floor mat, I have our trunk bins, chargers in here, as well as our sunshades. And then we have just an extra dual bin. Um, I keep coats in there and whatnot. Um, I love these because if I'm grocery shopping or if I'm just cleaning out my car, I can just easily pick this up and carry it in so that I'm not taking multiple trips 
Well, that about covers it. Um, there's so many different ways that you can customize and protect your Tesla to make it your own. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.